Hello and welcome to the first ever Heart Cross Country Media Days. I'm your host, Derek Johnson, with KLWN Radio in Lawrence, Kansas. We have the Peru State Bobcats next up, featured with head coach James Cole, as well as a couple of his athletes, Naomi Wilson and A.J. Russell. Coach, uh, take me through the athletes that you brought with us today, and A.J. and Naomi, why'd you bring them to the table here today to uh, represent your program? (laughs) AJ and Naomi are our team captains for the men's and women's programs. So I felt like they were the, probably the best representations of what's going on with the Peru state Bobcats and our teams. Well, AJ, uh, what got you into collegiate running or, or what got you here to Peru state to this moment, to, to where you are right now? Yeah, so I've been I've been running since I was little, little. I've been doing like fun runs ever since I was little. I went to middle school track, cross country, high school track, cross country. I wasn't the greatest my freshman year in cross country, so I had no aspirations of going to collegiate. Um, and then my senior year came and I hit like a huge, I improved by so much. Um, and my dream was kind of always running somewhere because my brother's playing uh, football at a different college. And so I kind of wanted to be like him as well. And I'm like, ah, if he's doing it, I can do it. Um, and so I got a couple offers here and there, but Peru State just made the most sense for me. Naomi, what about you? What got you into cross country and running overall? And what brought you here to Peru State? So I started running cross country in seventh grade in junior high, and I fell in love with it. But then I actually did not run cross country my last two years of high school. So I was not planning on running in college. But Coach Cole actually saw um, through my application that I was into distance running. like I was doing half marathons. So he reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in being on the team in college. And it just went from there. And I love it. We heard from your coach that you guys are both captains, AJ. Uh, what does that mean to you to be a captain for the Bobcats? Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor. Uh, I was my high school team captain as well for about three years. Um, and it's just it's great. I love, I love watching everybody, everybody compete. It's just great to see them improve. Uh, so this is my, my third year. I love watching my other guys like Gavin Smith, uh, Alem Mayani. I've started with both of them my freshman year, and I love seeing them improve. Um, and it's just great to have them behind me. Naomi, what about yourself? Uh, what does it mean to you to be a captain? Um, I see myself as being a support for a coach and a support for all my teammates. Like some people think of captain as like being the one in charge, and I don't see it that way. I see it as I'm the person people can come to for support if they have questions about anything. And then just being coach's right hand if he um, has extra things that he needs help with. Coach, in, in going through the schedule, your team has an event named Nebraska's Toughest Mile. Where is that located and what makes it so difficult? It's um, in Peru, Nebraska. It's our fundraiser. Um, so it's not a collegiate competition. It's just something that we host. Um, it's a one-mile race through – Peru and ending on um, Peru State College campus. And so the start line looks up an incline that looks pretty miserable. And then um, about halfway through, there's another quarter mile uphill that gets steeper as you go up it. And it's uh, fondly known as gut buster to everyone that lives in Peru and attends Peru State College campus. Then you do a steep downhill to round into another long uphill uh, to finish on campus. So it's it might not be the toughest mile in Nebraska, but it's pretty darn close because you spend there is probably very little flat, like less than a tenth of a mile. You're either going up or you're going down. And uh, coach, what are what are some of the goals for you guys as a program and as a team this year? So um, the women's team has been around uh, campus since 2003, and um, we've had some highs and lows, um, but my goal every year that I've been coach is for them to just improve from year to year, and I feel like if you look at our total team times, we've been doing that consistently, 
The men's program just started back up in 2020, and they've definitely been doing that consistently every year. Um, the first year we had it back as varsity, they were running seven, seven thirty mile average. And now our guys just ran their season opener at six twenty eight. So every year we're getting a little bit stronger, trying to be a little more competitive, even though we're a smaller school in our conference. AJ and Naomi outside of running competitively in the heart and running cross country. Do, do either of you ever do marathons or anything like that in your free time? Uh, so me personally, I'm not a huge marathon fan or half marathon fan, but I do like to go during the summer, during the off season last this past year, I've been hurt. So I wasn't able to do as many, uh, fun runs as I'd like to, but my freshman summer, like after my freshman year summer, I think I did eight fun runs around my hometown of Alma, Nebraska. Um, and then we also have a market to market relay that the team goes to in Iowa every year. Um, hoping I can be there next year. I wasn't able to be there this past year, but uh, hoping I can do that this next year. And Naomi, what about yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm going to butt in. He's being modest. So the reason that he's injured is because he completed a 10 miler in April and took second in his age group. Second or first? Uh, second. Second. Yeah. That's awesome. Naomi, what about yourself? Do you, do you have any marathon experience or anything like that? Yeah, so I ran quite a few half marathons. I ran my first one when I was 14, actually before I was even in high school yet. And I try to do at least one a year. Um, and next year, I'm hoping to go for the full. Okay, and uh, AJ, do you have a favorite moment or memory from your collegiate running career so far? Oh, um, I, I think my favorite memory of, collegiate uh, i would say it's probably high do you want high school or just college uh college if you got it but okay. if there's something yeah. else that sticks out go so for i it. think my favorite memory of college is running at um ashland nebraska at the platte river rumble um i ended up knocking off like a minute and a half two minutes off my pr and uh it was i was ecstatic it was it was a great race I, it was great weather i loved it it was amazing Naomi, yeah. what about yourself oh go for it again coach <laughs> he uh, he became the first uh, male in our revived program to break the 30 minute mark for the 8K race. So that was a good race for him. And uh, Naomi, what about yourself? Do you have a favorite memory or moment from your collegiate running career so far? Um, it's really hard to pick one moment, but just like the overall like thing that I love most about cross country is how bonded you become with your teammates. We always joke about um, that we like suffer together and it bonds us really closely. Um, so I think going forward, um, after I'm out of cross country, what I'll remember the most is the bonds that I made with my teammates. Coach, AJ, Naomi, I appreciate all you guys taking some time out of your day today, joining us and good luck on the season. Thank, Thank you. you Jared.